We've got DAX, we've got Cortana, and we've got some provider information that may help you out in Power BI Desktop. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in the Cube. And I've got a few posts that may make your head explode a little bit. Next up is a blog post from Rezarad where he gets into a little bit of math. So have you ever hit a divide by zero? And have you ever hit that inside of a Power Query query or a query inside a Power BI desktop? So he looks at how to actually handle error output within a query so that you can gracefully handle the outputs and get a desired result of what you wanna look at. He also goes through a few other tidbits. So if you've ever run into this and you're curious about how to handle actual arithmetic or division, then go ahead and check out this blog post and see a technique that you can use. Next up is a blog post from Alejandro all the way from Peru. And he talks about one of the struggles he hit with the Postgres provider in order to be able to use it with Power BI Desktop. This blog post is in Spanish, but you can use a translator in your browser to actually take a look. And really he looks at how he actually got this up and running. And the key to it was GAC Util and getting it into the GAC. Now of note, this technique is also required if you're using the IBM DB2 provider. So if you're using either Postgres or IBM DB2 and you're struggling getting a provider working with Power BI Desktop, be sure to check out this blog post. He did a great job of summarizing how to get it up and running. If you're interested in the Cortana Analytics Suite and you're not sure how to get it all up and running because there's a lot of pieces that you've got to install, Melissa Coates has you covered and she walks through how to actually set this up on your PC. She walks through each of the components and she shows you how to actually install them and get them up and running and where to, more importantly, where to get them from. I know sometimes that can be a little frustrating. So check out this blog post if you want to get up to speed on Cortana Analytics and jump in and start creating things. So you've heard about DAX and you're not sure what to actually do or it seems really scary. This blog post will help you out. It actually points to the guided learning that we have in our documentation, which is an introduction to DAX and it guides you through kind of the basics to get you started and exposed to DAX. I saw some buzz on Twitter this week saying about how it was great. So be sure to check it out and see if you agree. Okay, let me know which one was your favorite item in the poll up above or you can let me know down in the comments below and let me know if there was an item that maybe I didn't cover that you thought was interesting and share that out with everyone else. Also, if you like the video, be sure to indicate that down below as well as share it out to your friends and also subscribe to the channel if you're not. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup just like this where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item where either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.